Dorothy Goosby made history when she was elected to the Hempstead Town Board in 1999. Getting there, not easy. Came after a long battle. But as News 12's Ian Page learned, Goosby never gives up. Here is part three of our Black History Month series. The Hempstead Town Board named the plaza at Town Hall after senior councilwoman Dorothy Goosby last year during Black History Month. Can you believe that? I mean, that, that was really something, you know, when they did that. I, I, I was just so shocked. Can you imagine it? I mean, an African-American woman. Dorothy goosby has been shaking up the establishment for years. It all started in 1988 when Goosby filed a lawsuit against the town of Hempstead, arguing that its at-large voting system for electing town council members discriminated against African-Americans. Dorothy Goosby said, yes, I'll be the name plaintiff. And we, in that living room, we shook hands with her and our husband, Jay, who's passed away now. Um, and uh, therein, the, the case was born. Fred Brewington's a longtime civil rights attorney in Hempstead and the founder of the largest African-American owned law firm on Long Island. Fred knew the only way to change the system was to sue, but he needed someone to stand up. She's a maverick because she dared to step up when other people wouldn't. Eleven long years after filing the lawsuit, a federal judge ruled in favor of Goosby, and a year later, Dorothy ran for and became the first African-American woman to serve on the Hempstead Town Council. For the past 20 years, Goosby's been re-elected by an overwhelming majority. If they don't get what they want, they call me. And, and the other council people will really listen. Dorothy wants things better for the next generation. The mother of two didn't want to run years ago, but she knew she couldn't stay on the sidelines if she wanted things to change. I'm not going to be here forever. You know, I want them to learn, and what I really want them to know is how important it is to get involved. Without her, there would have been uh, individuals that would have had no voice. Dorothy's voice helped make civil rights history in the town of Hempstead. Ian Page, News 12. And she has no plans of retiring anytime soon. She continues to work tirelessly for her constituents. In addition to being a distinguished public servant, she's a registered dietitian, an author, and a longtime advocate and supporter of children and youth programs. The resume goes on and on, and so do her contributions.